how to create a spin to win game in Android. It is very super easy to do this. As you see here, clicking on this wheel, it rotates and you hang. The values are evaluated and shown, as you see, like this. So let us get started. Now create a new project, name it, and click finish. Now wait for the Glado to build the project, then you go to resources, themes, and change it to no action bar. Change the status bar color to this value here, or any value and it is navigation back up. then you prepare the resources and paste them into the drawable folder also copy the faults and paste it in the fault folder then this is the xml file so just put the resources like this and of course very simple things Okay, then the main activity Java file. Now we define the sectors. These are the values on our wheel. Okay, as you see this wheel. Now we can learn and we can see the wheel values like that. So we have 750, 500, 250, 1000 and many other like that. But also, we need to define the degrees for each sector. So we call the variable as sector degrees and pass the value to be the length of sectors. Then let us create a variable for London and then define our values and we have the spinning brain and the ending record to show to user what it has end and also let us have a london it's gonna help us to generate different london values so on it creates let us define our wheel image value and the detector which will be used as the button when you click then you will rotate then we have to create a method so that we can use it to generate the degrees for our sectors. As you see, uh, for a single sector, it is 60, 360 divided by the number of sectors. So here we are going to create, uh, go to generate bit as much as we can. So we are using a for loop here. Okay. So see, I'm just multiplying it. The next, let us set the click uh, listener to the belt. So use the lambda and in here, uh, of course, here is where we can uh, do the spinning, but only if there is no any animation going on, no spinning, that, that is uh, a variable. Spinning is not uh, true. Then we pass, we create a method called spin. So in here is where we are going to do the actual spinning. Okay. So let us create any random index on the sectors. And we use that as the, to create or generate a degree to rotate. Okay. Now let us then that's a uh, London degree using the London sector index. So let us create a, a higher London degree as much as possible. So, but he use the London sector index as the London index value. So down here, let us use the rotation animation to do the actual spinning. So here we pass the start point, the end degree, and also we have to set the pivot x and y, and the pivot values, 
like uh, simple like that so then you set the relation to the rotation which is I prefer any and uh, the filter after then we are going to use uh, the cell letter which is uh, starting with the high speeds then slowing down so we pass uh, the decelerator interpreter to our rotation and also we have to uh, add the listener to the spinning or rotation so that we can know if it has reached the end so we are only interested in only the uh, animation ends here is uh, when we can uh, make the user end something so in order to define the ends that the user has any we are going to use the sector and the random sector index but we need to plus not to minus remember that okay then we have to save the earnings to the of the user so i create a method called earnings and pass in the nd coins okay so in this method i am going to save the earnings in the variable called the earning record and i'm going also to show this end records to the user using the text view earnings okay like that then down here we have go to toast a message to the user that you have ended these coins like that so i'm going to create a method called the toast and in this toast i'm going to pass that message and they used a normal method of toast to show a toast message to user but then let us end the spinning so we are passing the false value so that the next when the user clicks on it the animation starts so we are going to start the animation on the wheel uh, which is the, the animation uh, the image image view okay so before we uh, learn application let us do some action on the withdraw button just uh, set the on the click listener and uh, toast a message to user that you have for uh, and uh, so far this amounts when he clicks on this button okay that's all we have to do now we can run our application and the uh, spin or click on the wheel to spin and the end like this you see as end that there is an here right there let us correct this then i said we must plus not minus so let's go here there just use a plus so here when the user clicks the spin and the value must match the end one you see this one okay that is the plus eh? the total plus you see this plus two okay you get the value so only that plus the previous one you get the only that plus the previous one and so this is earnings just the total when he, he clicks on that then he, he keep earning 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 so i give you uh, an homework put a reset button after withdraw button so that when he clicks on it then he resets Thank you.